Hi, I'm Paula, 45 years old, I'm from Anfield. Um, I started uh, using heroin and crack cocaine at the age of 21. Um, I was in a violent relationship, um, didn't see any way out at the time. Leading up to coming to Mersey Care, I'd lived a life of drugs for 15 and a half years. I tried to get clean for everybody but myself. My daughter, um, I used to take her out shoplifting, um, which I'm not proud to say it, but these are the things I've done in active addiction. And then I'd, um, I'd take her around pubs selling the stuff, um, and then I'd go and take her to the dealer where I got my drugs. And then I'd go home and I'd take my drugs. Um, and that went on and on and on. And then it come to a point where I got really badly beaten by my ex-partner, we'd use drugs all day. Come to the night time, we went to Chippy, we got a nice meal because we'd, had, we'd been out in the day shoplifting and stuff. So we went and got a meal from the Chippy and we were sitting eating the meal, and uh, both of us off our, off, our, off our heads sort of thing. And, um, and we had the meal and then it all went wrong. I don't know whether I looked at him funny or whether I'd looked at the Chippy man funny or flickered my eyes at him, I don't know, but the next thing is he's jumped up and, and punched me face in all around the house, um, to the extent where I was in hospital with broken ribs, um, he'd bit through my face, my lips, um, black eyes, um, I just wanted to die at that point, I just wanted to die. The day that, um, that I got the beating, um, I wanted to die then. I just, I was in pain, I was hurting, I was black and blue, and I just thought, this is all it's gonna be. This is all my life is gonna be forever. And I don't wanna live in it like this. Um, there was times when I was in a police station, you know, and, I'd, and they'd keep me because I'd have a no bail warrant. Um, so I'd have to stay till like the Monday, till the court or whatever. Um, and I'd be lying in the cell and I'd want to die um, because I was eating, I was in pain, couldn't see any way out. Um, so yeah, yeah, it often crossed my mind. Um, I think support is really, really important. Um, you know, if someone's on their own and they want to take their own life, they've got no one there to, to talk to or to explain how they're feeling and try and, you know, talk it through. At the time, I didn't have anybody until it, that, that happened. And then I had the police and then I had the, the hospital and the ambulance men and, you know, I'd never th thought I'd be sitting here telling my story, ever, in a million years. Um, you know, I've, it's amazing, it's amazing. Um, when I started with Mersey Care, it was really weird because the, the lady who does the volunteering, she was actually my worker in Hope House when I was getting my methadone prescription, Sharon, um, and she's amazing. And she's pushed me so, so much through Mercy Care. Um, she's believed in me be before I believed in myself. And that was really important. Um, since being with Mercy Care, my confidence, you know, has grown. I've met friends. Um, and it's been amazing. It's like a family. And the support on the end of that phone whenever you need it. You know, and that's really important for me. Yeah.